for me, sitting in that doctor's office, you know, one day hearing that you're pre-diabetic, the very next day hearing that you're diabetic, I felt like I had lost all control. It was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. When I listened to that podcast, I was filled with so much hope. This is amazing material. How is this not in the hands of more people? How is this not the information that comes to me from my doctor? And I decided that, you know, looking at the results that people were getting on this method, I had to try it. I, I owed it to myself. I owed it to my wife. I owed it to my children. I owed it to my dad to try it, try and do something to break that chain, going from, from his parents to him to me. You know, I may now be living with diabetes, but... Um, my glucose values are completely in control, and I'm now on a path where I can educate my children how to nourish their bodies properly, how they can live and thrive and never deal with you know insulin resistance in their lifetimes. You know, I definitely will be able to break that chain. Um, my first high A1C was in November of 2019. I wasn't actually informed of it until later, but it was 6.1. And then in February of 2020, I had an A1C of 6.5. Uh, so they diagnosed me as a type 2 diabetic that day. And uh, so I had, so they told me the day that I went in for uh, the second A1C test that the first one was 6.1. So I had like one day of being uh, aware that I was pre-diabetic and then the very next day I was diabetic. So thanks for that. And my most recent number after following my, the Mastering Diabetes program is 5.2 for A1C. Um, I was not checking fasting glucose prior to that high A1C because I had no idea. My current fasting glucose is um, 87 to 89 uh, usually, and then I am uh, right around 100 to 110 after two hours after a meal right now. Uh, my weight in February at my doctor's appointment was 265, and today I weigh 204. Uh, so I started in February, and so I've lost. Uh, 61 pounds. The, uh, the the cholesterol that they recorded in February was 218, and now at my last check in May, uh, that was 130 total cholesterol. In terms of medications, I was on leading up to those tests. I was on lisinopril, omeprazole, and atorvastatin. Uh, lisinopril for high blood pressure. Um, omeprazole for um, gastroesophageal reflux, and then atorvastatin for cholesterol management. Um, and then that day, they asked me to start metformin. I took metformin for about two weeks, and I started the, the Mastering Diabetes program pretty much the very next day. So I, I went online. I wanted to figure out what people were doing uh, for diabetes treatment, what, what was new, what was out there. And I found the Rich Roll podcast. That, that Robbie and Cyrus were, were talking on. And uh, I, was, I was really encouraged by it. And I felt like this was my chance. This was my opportunity to turn things around. And uh, I mean, it's had a profound impact. So not only is the weight down, um, not only is the cholesterol down, not only are the glucose values in check, but I also no longer use a sleep apnea machine. The doctor mentioned that I most likely wouldn't need it any longer. She was so surprised by my uh, my weight loss and and how drastic and and how quick it was. She recommended that it probably didn't need to be using the uh, the sleep apnea machine any longer. You know, my wife has reported that I'm not snoring like I was, and I also am uh, not tired throughout the day. In fact, I have a lot more energy on the plant based diet. So I followed it to a T. I really can honestly say that I followed it to a T. It's been completely vegan. I haven't had any animal product since February 18th. The day I decided, we had like two big steaks in the fridge that we were going to have. For dinner that night and she was like well why don't we just go ahead and cook these we'll get started tomorrow and i was like no i've made the decision and it, and i have to stick to it this is it so we we gave those to friends and so i you know i didn't have any more from that point on uh, as far as how i'm eating on the diet um i probably dip a little bit more into the yellow foods than i should but in moderation you know i'm trying really hard uh, to keep up with it i sat in on another uh, webinar uh, with Robbie and Cyrus, and they also had um, plant-based Gabriel on. And I ordered Gabriel's book, and I've been, you know, just going through that, doing so many of the different recipes there, and really enjoying it. To me, you know, going to like a lot of salads and things like that was really difficult. I still wanted to have, you know, pot food. I still wanted to have food that felt, you know, like a prepared dish. 
and that's changed over time. I'm starting to warm up more to salads and, and more of the, you know, raw ingredients in my foods. Being able to still cook and still um, have dishes that feel very similar uh, is comforting and, and it's definitely helpful for the transitional period. So I've enjoyed making the chili, making uh, some of the other dishes in that, in that cookbook. My wife has done it with me. Um, she's seen great results, so she's not diabetic. She does have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which has some similar traits to how diabetes acts in the body, as far as my, I understand. And, uh, and she has seen good results uh, in terms of weight and, uh, and her energy levels by following the plant-based diet as well. We've both enjoyed it. And uh, I mean, my energy is off the charts, mental focus, you know, clarity is there where, where I was just living in a fog and in a haze before. I had the worst diet um, before starting. Back in 2018, I actually went on a little bit of a, you know, a health kick and um, I had watched that sugar film and I had decided to eliminate sugar, refined sugar from my diet and I was doing great. My, my weight was down, I was exercising, I was doing really well. And then my father passed away from diabetes complications at age 63. It hit me like a ton of bricks, uh, right? And so my diet went out the window, you know, and I started just eating for comfort. And, you know, we were making elaborate meals at home, fully focused around, centered around animal proteins, right? So, uh, you know, steaks and grilled chicken and everything like that with, with all the trimmings and, and oil and butter, everything like that. And uh, I was eating out every day for lunch at work, every single day, and most days for breakfast as well. A super high fat diet at home, super high fat diet at work, a super high fat diet for breakfast and I, and I packed on the weight and that's when things started rapidly accumulating with, you know, that's when it was like, okay, now you're on blood pressure medication. Okay, now you're on cholesterol medication. Okay, now, now we think you have diabetes on top of that. And that was the one that really was like, oh, okay, I can't just take this pill and everything's gonna be okay anymore the way I had with the other two. That one really hit home because I was losing my father to diabetes uh, complications. And it took him down very quickly. It took him down in about two years and he wasn't managing it well. And um, that to me was an enormous wake up call. I have two children. I have to be here for them. I have to take control of this. Uh, this is kind of my last warning, if you will, to get serious about what I'm doing, about my diet. It was it, like a godsend to find this information, to find this book, to find Robbie, uh, to find Cyrus, to find all these materials. and. The community is great. I mean, you know, the, the Facebook group, finding tons of answers there, uh, following Robbie on Instagram and, and the things that he's doing. And it's exposed me to so many other people, uh, so many other health benefits that I had no idea about for eating a plant-based diet. Anyone that knows me knows that I was probably the last person on earth that would, uh, would adopt a plant-based diet. And now uh, I'll never go back. You know, uh, there's no way. It's changed my life in so many ways. Following this program, it's a lifesaver. It's truly a lifesaver. I'm eating, you know, for, for breakfast, I normally have a large bowl of oatmeal, plain. For morning snack, I'll usually have a couple of bananas, a couple of mangoes. For lunch, I'll usually do a light soup or a salad or both. And then for dinner, we'll try and find one of the one of the starchier, heartier options in the, the plant-based cookbook for beginners, the one that we got from Gabriel. You know, we have uh, like the chili is one of our absolute favorites in there. Um, the curry, the mango curry is another favorite there. Uh, the simplicity of cooking this way, um, not worrying so much about sanitizing countertops and things like that after you like have a chicken all apart on it. Um, you know, it, it's just simple. You feel so much more energetic after a meal instead of sluggish and, uh, and exhausted after finishing a high fat uh, animal protein meal. So yeah, a normal day for me is, is, t is totally focused around carbohydrate. No, no medications at all. So the first one to go was lisinopril. I mean, it was within days and my blood pressure was totally normal. And I took another lisinopril and I started feeling dizzy and I called my doctor and she said, well, you know, if you're making big lifestyle changes uh, and your blood pressure is regulating itself on a more natural way, taking the medication on top of that might send you a little bit too low and cause that dizziness so um, you, you can more than likely discontinue the medication now. Uh, so I think we split it in half to start and then it, with, within a few more days it was gone. And I don't even check, I don't even feel the need really to check my blood pressure as often as I did. I, I was able to feel when my blood pressure was high before and it's not, it's not a problem any longer. The last time I checked it, 
that was a few days ago and i mean it was like 119 over 72 or something like that like it was it was really good at least for me <laughs> yeah so that was the first one to go and then i was able to get my next set of blood work results and then i called my doctor told her what i was doing told her that i would like to do it without metformin and that i could give her you know about two weeks worth of my figures to show her the trend that i was on she agreed we discontinued metformin i saw a slight spike for a few days right after discontinuing it as my body kind of readjusted and then from then on it's been exactly on target almost every single check. Occasionally, I'll have a little bit of a high check after I do consume a higher fat meal. Like I've tried to sneak in like a Chipotle. Fortunately, yes, it is all vegetables and legumes and grains, but there's a lot of oil. So that I found doesn't work, unfortunately. I was excited that it might, it doesn't. So I have, you know, I've had the occasional high check, but almost all of my values, especially my fasting, are, are right on target. So the next one to go then was the atorvastatin. At the next checkup, they did the blood work. Um, they saw how low my cholesterol numbers had gone, so the atorvastatin was not needed any longer at all. And somewhere in between all of that, I got off the sleep apnea machine. So, yeah, I'm not on any medications. And I used to have to take a 40 milligrams of omeprazole every day because my heartburn was so extreme. I would get heartburn through the 40 milligrams. Um, I couldn't eat any spicy food. I couldn't eat tomato. Uh, so many things would set me off. Now I eat all the spicy food I want. I had hot sauce on tons of meals. It's not a problem. I have tomato all the time. It's not a problem. I take no omeprazole and I have no heartburn. It, it, it astounds me. I thought that was going to be a problem I was going to live with for the rest of my life. And no, it's not. <laughs> Energy was the first thing I picked up on. I have a friend that's been a vegan for like seven years and I sent him a note and I was like, Daniel, why have you not told me like that I was gonna get this just boundless energy as soon as I switched? And he's like, Mike, I try to tell you a lot of stuff about it. Like, come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so just the energy was through the roof, right? And then um, pretty quickly I was able to tell that my blood pressure was lowering itself. You know, I was checking it on the machine as well and, and confirming that, that the numbers were getting lower and lower. So. I uh, worked with my doctor to, to come off of that. So that was within days. The sleep apnea probably went away in about a month of eating this way because I lost a significant amount of weight in a short period of time. And then the other medications, yeah, the metformin was, was about two weeks that I took that. And then the, uh, the cholesterol, yeah, once they saw those numbers, there was no need. I was scared. My dad was diabetic. Everything that they said was avoid carbohydrate, avoid carbohydrate, focus on proteins, focus on you know lean proteins and this and that, avoid carbohydrate, that's the enemy. I was scared to death. I saw it, I saw the results that people were getting, I started looking into it. It still scared me, but I decided to order the book and to, and, and there's so many free resources with Mastering Diabetes. That is the coolest thing about the entire program is Yes, you can pay to be in a coaching program, but there are so many resources that, um, you know, when you're first getting started, absolutely take advantage of all those resources. So if you're on the fence, if you're scared about it, look at me. I mean, I, I did it within just a few months. Definitely take advantage of all the free resources. Uh, sit in on the webinars, follow Robbie and Cyrus on Instagram for sure. Try and join the Facebook group, uh, order the book. I mean, definitely order the book. There's, there's so much evidence in the book. It's, it's overwhelming and, um, and, and just look at, look at the research that's out there. Uh, Plant Proof Podcast had up an article very recently about you know, this type of diet for, for diabetes change. I mean, it's, it's definitely becoming uh, more visible. My message to people that are on the fence is take advantage of all the free resources. You know, there's, there's tons of information out there on the Mastering Diabetes website um, for recipes, for guidelines. It's all there for you. The book is inexpensive. The book is full of resources. Take advantage of that. I think that you'll find you are in good hands here.